It was an unprecedented fallout between the TBI and the DA responsible for overseeing the Holly Bobo case. The fight got so heated it almost cost the TBI an investigation they focused on for years. But tonight, new documents uncovered by News Channel 5 paint a disturbing picture of a paranoid freshman district attorney slinging blame and determined to go it alone. Here's News Channel 5's Chris Conti with the exclusive details new at 6 tonight. Time turned back is where this story began. The date was December 12th inside a conference room at TBI headquarters in Nashville. Several people, including TBI Director Mark Gwynn and Decatur County DA Matt Stowe, were meeting to discuss the Holly Bobo case. Emails obtained by News Channel 5 reveal things quickly fell apart. General Stowe said he felt that TBI had compromised the case, wrote Wally Kirby, executive director of the Tennessee's DA conference. He was also in the room at that time. Stowe went on to say that the TBI had proceeded, quote, so slowly that culprits were always one step ahead and that TBI was leaking information and possibly covering up evidence. General Stowe also stated that he trusted no one in the room, which, as you can imagine, had a chilling effect on the remainder of the meeting. The rest, as they say, is history. Handed down indictment. TBI Director Mark Wynn immediately removed the agency from all cases in the 24th Judicial District, but not before visiting Holly Bobo's mom and dad. From the same email, Director Gwynn decided that he should go and talk with the Bobo family. Mrs. Bobo had a meltdown and said she was going to destroy Matt Stowe. She wanted him off the case and the TBI back on the case. District Attorney, hey! We want to talk to you about what's going on with the TBI. Since those days in December, Matt Stowe has repeatedly and intentionally avoided us. Why don't you want to talk to anyone about this? The day the story broke, though, Stowe sat down with another local television station, a decision that seemingly made the situation worse. Wally Kirby writes, Stowe was not truthful in the interview. He said he never asked TBI to leave his district. Mark Gwynn is not happy and will likely make some statement tonight. I've never heard of this happening before, and... I think somebody should give us some answers on what is going on. Then Memphis District Attorney Amy Wyrick enters the fray. Stowe initially demanded her special prosecutor also be taken off the Bobo case. Wyrick, quote, if my office has been removed from the case, what is the point in me sitting down with him? The only way we will be back on the case is for Stowe to recuse himself. And in the end, that's that what right. finally happened. Tonight, a heated battle between the director of the TBI and a local district attorney is over. With very little choice, Stowe finally stepped aside from the Bobo case on December 18th, six days after that initial meeting with TBI director Mark Gwynn. A very short yet very public battle, perhaps summed up in one sentence. I feel that we have done all we can do to help General Stowe in this matter because of his lack of experience. We reached out to Matt Stowe multiple times this week for comment. Our phone calls were not returned. Because of all this, court proceedings have been temporarily delayed in the Kali Bobo case.